minus 35 seconds. Hydraulic scope. 30 seconds. T minus 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Pop and go. 13 seconds. Green board. 10. Are we nine. Eight, Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We have liftoff. Liftoff of the last United Launch Alliance Delta II rocket carrying GPS 2R21 for the United States Air Force. of our ground lift motors and we have ignition on the airlet motors the three airlet motors are building in chamber pressure and reaching their steady state levels one minute 27 seconds into the flight delta vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch some uh, one minute 30 seconds ago we're expelling propellant at almost 2400 pounds per second Motor chamber pressure is beginning to decline now. We have about 25 seconds or so in uh, airlet motor burn time. Burn time. One minute 55 seconds in, still looking good. Standing by for separation of our three airlit motors, about 10 seconds from now. We have separation, the three airlit motors. It's 20 seconds into the flight, altitude now 28.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 76.2 nautical miles. To the 5313 miles per hour. Good main engine control in both pitch and yaw. Recovered very well from the initial launch transients. Good main engine control in both pitch and yaw. Recovered very well from the initial launch transients. This is Delta Mission Control at approximately, well, just under three minutes into the mission. And we've just heard Steve Agad report the successful execution of events comprising the early part of today's mission. And in another minute or so, we'll have MECO, our main engine cutoff. Then we'll have first and second stage separation and second stage ignition. And approximately 20 seconds later, the protective fairing around the satellite will separate from the vehicle, leaving the second and third stages and the GPS spacecraft to continue on with the mission. And now let's go back to Steve Agad for some more flight commentary. From the vehicle, leaving the second and third stages and the GPS spacecraft to continue on with the mission. And now let's go back to Steve Agad for some more flight commentary. Chamber pressures continuing to hold very well, right where we want them to be. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. Less than one minute now remaining on first stage flight. Less than one minute till Miko. Three minutes, 40 seconds in. Altitude now passing 47 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 204 nautical miles. Velocity, 9,175 miles per hour. Four minutes into the flight. So in one half minute remains on main engine burn. 20 seconds until me. Good chamber pressure level. Going back for our fairing separation. Fairing separation about 10 seconds from now.
five minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. This, this is, is Delta Mission Control at a little more than five minutes into the GPS 2R21 mission for the Air Force. The Delta II and the GPS satellite are in the first of two second stage engine burns, and the mission continues nominally. Our next event, second stage engine cutoff, our SECO-1, will take place in approximately five minutes. I'm joined now by Air Force Colonel Chris Warwick from the Global Positioning System Wing. And Colonel Warwick, thanks uh, very much for, uh, for joining us uh, this morning. Thanks, Doug. It's a pleasure to be here.